We're about to start another episode of Cooking at the College. We're gonna make some applesauce and some potato pancakes. And we're in the Kitchens Cafe, so that's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, we'll be right back. Another episode of Cooking at the College. I'm Jason Donner and I'm the host. On this show we talk to a faculty member or staff member at West Kentucky Community and Technical College and then they bring a dish that they want to prepare, that they want to learn to cook or teach us to cook or just make better. And this time we're actually in the Kitchens Cafe. So this is part of our campus and Chef Jesse, will you tell us about the Kitchens Cafe, what we do here? Absolutely. Kitchens Cafe is part of the Paducah School of Art and Design campus. Mm -hmm. We've been open for about seven years and we serve both the public and our students. We're open Monday through Friday, typically 11 to 2. This summer our hours are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, we make everything here in-house except our bread and uh, we just like to serve people good food. Yeah, yeah. And it's a popular place. Like people mm -hmm. are coming in for lunch every day, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And um, we're also joined by our guest here who's going to teach us about, <laughs> can I say it? Sure. This is Kathy and she's going to teach us about applesauce. That's right. And we're going to talk about kind of a special, like once a year special applesauce. Right, right. Yeah. Made by my family. Made by your family. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is something that, that like means a lot to you. Yes. But also like there's Very a process a here. Mm -hmm. And like, um, but it's, you were telling me this only can kind of happen at the end of June. Right. These are special apples. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they're they grown on a Lodi apple tree, L-O-D-I, and they're uh, only ready to harvest in mid to late June. So right. that's why we can only do this one time a year. Yeah. So and uh, what does this taste like if we just bit it's, into it it's, right uh, now? It's sour. It, it's a yeah. hard sour I'm apple. Like, okay, maybe not. <laughs> no, I think you should. Let's I think you it. should. Let's go. No, no. Go ahead. So go glad ahead, I brought it up. up. Let's chop yeah, one so up. Yeah, so glad you brought this up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll do it. Yeah. You were telling me that was, it's really well, I was sour. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. And look how white. Uh -huh. These are also called transparents. Yeah, it looks that, like an onion. I don't think that white. Like an onion. It is yeah. really white. But they are another word for this type of. Um, All right, give me a little chunk. Apple. There you go. Uh -huh. Jesse. All right, Jesse. All right. Thank you. You're right. <laughs> Sour? Yeah, it's not worth the experience. <laughs> it's really sour. It was really sour. Yeah, it's like um, it's like a I, granny I, I, gummy bear almost. Kind of mm -hmm. I love sour candy, so mm -hmm. I kind of you know I'm not sure I would want to eat a whole one, but it's enjoyable. Mm. So, it will so, be a lot better after a while <laughs> when we cook it. So we're gonna start chopping. Yeah. So um, what I want you to do is quarter them. Okay. And Jesse and I are gonna take the cores out. Let's well, switch. So those. I gotta keep up okay. then. Okay. All right. So. Here's what I'm doing, it's just rough cutting that core out like that. All right. Is that good? Yes. So are you making this every year? Is this something that- I do make this every year. Never ending? Uh, when I was growing up, my mother and our neighbor were good friends. And every June we would uh, come home and there'd be multiple bushels of these baskets sitting yeah. on our carport. Waiting to be chopped. Waiting to be chopped. And the next couple of days, we had applesauce making days. And it was a all in family affair. Yeah. And uh, there would be, our, our kitchen was a square kitchen. It had countertop, countertops on all four sides. And everybody had a station. There was the chopping station, which is what we're doing right now. Right, I can see that. So, <laughs> so, I can, almost like, there's a doorway in there somewhere, but there the rest is. of it's just countertop. Two doors, yeah, two it's doors. It's kind of like a working yeah. kitchen like, yeah, in your exactly, house. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so somebody would do the chopping. There'd be a whole countertop devoted to that. Uh, somebody would be manning the cooking station, and they'd have several pots of, of water all boiling or ready to boil at the same time. And then came, after that, after the apples were boiled, would be the... What would you call it? The mushing? <laughs> the mushing, the mushing. The mushing uh -huh. station. Um, Sounds close enough. It's close enough, yeah. And that's where you actually get the sauce out of the cooked apples. Mm -hmm. And then you add sugar while the applesauce is hot. And that makes the sugar blend in nice and smooth and it doesn't have a grainy texture. And for me personally, 
the texture is what's key to all of this. We only need maybe four or five more. If we're From just... me, four or five more? Yeah. I don't like the looks of that one. Yeah, some of them got iffy. just a little bit soft. Yeah, let me catch up. I really hope not to just take that pinky finger off your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, it's a little aggressive here. Stay alive, I know. Yeah. We should have started with a kitchen safety <laughs> tutorial. We should have. Let's, yeah. talk, let's take a right. minute. Like, <laughs> when my husband we got like three knives basically like two feet away exactly. from each other. <laughs> and we're trying to talk. My husband uh, watches Norm Abrams, uh -huh. the wood, wood rights shop, I believe is what it is. Yeah. And he always does this thing at the beginning of the show. Let's take a moment to talk about shop safety. That's when he puts on his goggles and his... Oh, yeah. His is there things. any, like, I guess, it, can so, a chef ever wear so, goggles? I mean, is there a reason? Can you really get going? No. What could people, happen? Some people try to wear goggles um, for onions, but I personally oh, haven't really yeah. found anything that keeps you yeah, from crying. Yeah, is there anything that can stop it? No. Okay, so, so is that enough? We're going to boil these? Yeah, that's plenty. All right. So you'll see there's, like, still a lot of little, there's skin on there. There's a lot of little um, bits and pieces. Yeah. It's okay. It'll all boil out or... We'll lose it when we mush it. Yeah. I wish mush I had a better word for that, a more grind, technical grind word. Grind it? Smash it? Well, you had some time. Sieve it? Sieve it? <laughs> Sieve it? <laughs> no. Strain um, it? Strain it. Maybe that's the word. So this is all just going to collapse. We're going to basically eat the white part. Skin's gone. Skin's gone. gone. Everything is gone after yeah. the cooking. Okay. So, Jesse has water boiling in the kitchen behind us. Sure. And um, so I'm going to take that in and boil this batch. All right, we'll just take then, a break, and then, yeah, yeah we'll all go back there and uh, okay. boil it up. All right, sounds we'll, good. We'll be right back and see uh, how this applesauce turns out. We do have a pot of gently boiling water here. One of the things you got to stay on top of and why we needed so many people to cook. Oh, this, it, yeah, your assembly line at home. Is, see how there are, it's already getting to brown. brown. Right. Yeah, that white, that beautiful white inside turns so brown this, quickly. So this, you got to move quickly, right. yeah. So this is where I always get hurt. Hopefully I oh, will right now. Oh, that's in the hot water. Is, is, You're right. They usually, spl usually splash right back <laughs> yeah. up on me, so you got to be careful in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, but, um, so we're waiting like seven minutes, About eight? Six, seven minutes. Six, seven and minutes? They'll start falling apart. Okay. And that's when we know they're ready. Right. All right. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. I'll stay and watch. Okay. Well, we'll come back. We'll slung water go right back here. to the main stage with <laughs> Chef Jesse. All right. And uh, watch these apples fall apart. We'll All be right. right back. Sounds good. Okay, we're back for this part of it with Chef Jesse Fletcher, and we're going to make potato cakes. Yes. And they have another name that you said before, but I can't remember. Yeah. Kartoffel von Kuchen. Which means? It's a German potato German, pancake. German potato pancake. All right. Yes. So um, there, what, what all do we have here? All right. Well, um, the most important part is we have our potato. I have already grated it, so the magic of television. Sure. It is, and you'll see mine is starting to turn brown. So we're, um, we want to keep it in water or grate it last second before you use it. But we're going to combine grated potato. And it's just a russet potato. Mm -hmm. and an, it's like one a, big potato. It was about three small potatoes. Three small potatoes. Okay. Yes. We're going to bind that with onion and just a touch of salt. And I've put it into a clean dish towel. Uh -huh. I wondered why you had a towel there. Yes. Just to squeeze it a little bit more. There yes. it is. Okay. There yeah, it is. So we want. Because you're going to have to cook it. Exactly. So we want to get all of that moisture out of the potato. All right. And the onion. I'm just kind of getting rid of. All of that. Yeah, I think you're doing it. There's quite a, <laughs> quite a lot of moisture in there. Yeah, there there's more than, <laughs> more than you realize. Okay. So you do want to make sure you do this pretty thoroughly. So is this, so is, the, this is a potato cake. This is a hash brown, basically. Is that fair to say? It's fair to say. Yeah. It's fair to say. It's, it's, it's a hash brown. It's just kind of ba bound together. Bound together, yeah. And then in a, in a little cake form. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that liquid. We don't need that anymore. And just dump our... Yes. Onion and potato. Uh -huh. It doesn't really look like a potato at this point, but right. it's going to get there. So now we are going to add two eggs that have been beaten already. Mm -hmm. And we like to pretty liberally season everything. 
Our goal in a restaurant is that you don't have to season it once it gets to the table. Uh -huh. We like to make sure it's nice and flavorful. Yeah, yeah, and some then, more salt in there, I see. Right? Yeah. Yes, and then flour. So the egg and the flour is going to kind of bind it all together okay. and end up with a cake. So your, your breakfast hash browns are just kind of scattered and not bound together. Yeah, that's true. Unless you get true. the little like hash brown pat. Right, but yeah, they're typically just not really a cake. Yes. Yeah. All right, so what, what's this going to make? Three? This is going to make about nine. Nine? Okay, yes. really? I guess depending From on the size From my shot, it doesn't cake. look, yeah, it look, doesn't <laughs> look like nine. The size you want. Yeah. Yes. But it's going to, um, it's going to be nine. Okay, we'll see about that. We're going to make at least one right now. Yes. Okay, so yes. Is, the, is the oil boiling? Is it hot over there? It is not boiling. It's not boiling, it should but be it's good. super It should be hot good and enough. hot. Okay. We're going to find out right uh, now. Oh, no, that's this a little the, small the portion. Moment of truth. Uh-huh. And we're just going to pat it How out just a little bit. What's that feel to your hand right now? Um, it's a little gushy. A little gushy. A little gushy. Uh -huh. It's a little play doughy. There we go. Now I can hear it. It's sizzling along, okay. Yes. So we're just gonna do probably two to three minutes on each side. You'll start to see it getting brown kind of around the edge and we'll flip them and that's it. All right, well, while we're doing that, um, I think we'll have Kathy come back through the door. She's got the apples, okay. There you go, now we're ready hey, for your part. Ooh, that smells wonderful. That looks different. You it were right, they different. did completely collapse. We're doing a lot of mushy so, today. Oh, a lot of mush, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna now um, turn that into applesauce. We are. All right, so. Tell us about this thing. You were right. telling me this is a. What's the name of this again? What is the name of that? This thing? is a chinois. A chinois. I've never known the yes. name of it. We've always just called it the funnel. Uh huh. The funnel thing. Go to get the funnel. The funnel thing. Right. <laughs> so, so did you do that part as this, a kid? This is, was that your this role? This was what one was of my response. Well, when I was really small, I was the taster. And I, had, I was oh, okay. the one responsible for sure. putting the sugar in. Right. And making sure it was sweet enough. So, you know, that was pretty sweet. They job. gave you a so. bowl of sugar and just <laughs> <laughs> a little kid in charge of the sugar? Nine years old, yes. Okay. <laughs> but that was an important job because if you don't get enough sugar in there, then your siblings are mad at you for the rest of the year. Okay. So, um, so this is right. I see. This now. is how this, this works. Just squeeze just it out. Around that in a circle. You don't want to put oh, too much so, in. It's such a pungent, it is. <laughs> sour, apple y. It is. <laughs> it's a great smell. It. Yeah, it's. It's so definitely apple. You don't want to put too much in because if you do, it'll start rising up as you're doing the, the thing with the oh, okay. pestle. Yeah, and it's kind of like a cider, I guess. It smells kind like of that. cidery, yeah. But you also have to be careful because this stuff is like tar. It will stick to you. The skins, the oh, peels yeah. will stick to you if you get them on you and they're blazing hot right now. Okay. It so looks here's really neat. Here's a little trick I learned. Oh, yeah, that does You just neat. let the wires scrape it off the sides. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, you know, you make gallons of this stuff uh -huh. over the course of two days and so you, these you things are, the are they can you just buy these anywhere i bought it's yes. hard to find I, I you have to look in canning sections yeah. and not everybody has them okay so I, maybe a farm store might be more likely to what do you think right. or kitchen supply online, store just or about, online just yeah. everything online i was just lucky to find this one a few years ago okay I, this is not oh my, my mom goodness. and dad's yeah. my niece has my mom and dad's so you're gonna do the whole batch like that? You're not gonna like take so, some of it because it's it is getting like covered up with the skins, right? Too. So between that's okay. batches, between batches, yeah, you clean I clean out. out the funnel, right? Yeah. And then eventually, okay, uh, we're looking like applesauce yeah. down there. But once it cools off, I, yeah. I compost all that stuff. It makes good compost. What about cinnamon? Isn't that a part of applesauce? Not in our world. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. I know that's a flavor. No, I do. I do love cinnamon apples. I really do. Yeah. But we never, never did, never did that as yes. so. This is apples just plain speak apple for sauce. Itself. Right. Right. So I was telling uh, Jesse earlier. We used this. We ate this almost every night. Didn't yeah. It? Oh yeah. And uh, it turned into to more of a condiment than a side dish. Uh huh. So you applied it to. We like, applied it to many the, foods. What did you apply my, it to? My siblings and I. My parents didn't appreciate this idea so yeah. much, but we would put it on, like we kind of smush it up next to our mashed potatoes, which I'm. That's why I'm glad she's making potato really? cakes. Really? Okay. Or if we had meatloaf, it kind of got really close to the meatloaf, and well, you'd kind of get it all like, the same through, like, that way. And, Kids yeah, sometimes want to keep it all separate, though. Like, yeah. you children are like, I don't want that touching. Oh, mine. no, we were not that way. <laughs> <laughs> we were all in. Right. 
But uh, so this yeah, has become like a family. It's a family tradition. It, it is very much a family tradition. Yeah. And when I was growing up, uh, this was part of my mother's putting up routine in the yeah. summer, right. uh, where she may she froze corn, she froze peas, um, green beans, peaches, mm -hmm. all the things that were fresh in the summer, and she filled up an entire upright refrigerator side yeah. freezer with right. all this. So you know, by the end of August, when you open up that door. It was a wall of frozen right. foods ready for the whole next year. So, and you're eating applesauce all winter long. We ate applesauce all yeah. year. Yeah. Okay. So, it's right. actually made quite a batch. It's made quite a batch. And that's, yeah, that's not that's, a lot. Right, that's just a, a few more here. A we'll family size up. amount of applesauce, I think. I think that's about probably two containers full. Okay. So the next step is just to add this sugar. Just in. add the sugar. That's right. Let me get this last little bit in here. What about the cake? You want to try it? They look pretty good. Sure. Yes. Yeah. She's letting me do it at the very end. I, I know. Like, How could I? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to it's offer It's a earlier. little bit. Yeah. Sure. It's fun. How's that feel? <laughs> it's like it's slimy. It feels like, it's like you can hear it. It's, it's just basically and, slimy. Yeah. Like it needs to go in the trash now. All right. Because we want this. No, it's fine. All right. That part's. So, I think that's how you're supposed to do that. That makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. I'm gonna set this back here. Okay. Get it out of the way. Uh, the cakes, though. Cakes good? Yes, cakes uh -huh. are great. All right. All right. So here is the very important part, and that's adding the sugar. Mm -hmm. oh, so this, keep, this is a huge I mean, bowl. Of, a spoon okay. or something. Oh, do you a big spoon. A big spoon, please. Okay. I was just going to get please you a spoon. Thank you. I thought you were just going to go for it, like uh, no. nine-year-old style. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done that, yeah. Right. So, of course, the idea is, you know, like adding salt, you don't want to add too much all at once. Yeah. Well, it's going to take, but that was a sour... It's going to it's take a, very a certain sour amount of It always sugar. takes more than I think it's going to yeah, take. Yeah, a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So that's the first round. So we get to do a taste oh, we do test. A test. And remember, this is hot, so blow on it. Okay. It's still it's steamy. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's pretty sour. It's still sour. <laughs> Let's double that up. You want to try it? Two. It's familiar. <laughs> it's baby food, basically. Ooh, it it really is, tastes like hot very, baby food. It, like, you know, it you does. You left it in the car, you still had to eat it. It does have that <laughs> it's, baby it's food. It's a warmed up bottle. It's got a baby food quality. Of course, I think that's why this is a kid it's staple why food. We liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it comes right. You like, and your little kid mind like tastes like baby food. And well, of course, we're eating this at school. Yeah, we got to get rid of these spoons. Yeah, to okay. Be, to be safe, you know. Be All cool. Right. All right, let's try that. I think I double dipped into it. Oh, well. no, that's no big deal. Thank right. goodness it's okay. still hot. <laughs> I mean, just like the family it's, recipe. It's, it's not closer. like we never did that, you know? Right. But the, the way that that's it is, it the nature of it. I like that. Because there's got to be a sour edge to it. And it could be, I could see how it could be applied, mm -hmm. you know, as a part of a, as a condiment on some of the dish. Or yeah. did you put it on sweet dishes too? Like next nope. to no, no. piece no. of pie? I don't know, <laughs> apple pie. <laughs> no, no, it was always. It's anything yeah. goes. I don't know how to, yes. Yeah. I don't know yes. how to say that. Mashed potatoes, yeah. huh? Mashed potatoes and. Well, yeah. all right. So, this so is, there we go. Jesse, does this, why did you pick these cakes to go with the applesauce? It, honestly, it's just a really nice accompaniment, you know, um, yeah. and a lot of different um, cuisines around the world do some version of a potato pancake. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, for Hanukkah, uh, a latka is a, is a very similar potato pancake, except it's made with matzo meal, and it's always served with an applesauce and a sour cream, mm -hmm. or maybe not always, but a lot of times it's served with it. So, just sure. a nice little, and you can make them a little sweeter if you want to. You could dust them with, like, powdered sugar and serve them with your applesauce instead. Mm -hmm. So. I cinnamon. personally love a little bit of, a little bit of savory, a little bit of sweet. Right. So, so are we going to? What do we put it next to it? Not put it on top of it? I think we do a little. I think we just do a little, a nice little, nice little drizzle. Yes. Huh? Oh, a nice little drizzle. Okay. So. Yeah. We have our pancakes here, and I have a touch of. What is that? sour cream that's been thinned out just a little so it's not real thick and globby mm -hmm. and then let's see if i may have a small spoon i think we do there you go. a little bit of this too and then finish with just a little bit of green just, <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Yes. A little, is that it's a little bit of now. onion? <laughs> yes, that is a little green onion. Okay. Yes. So how do we attack this? I mean, you want us to yes. taste it? Well, sure. We yes. Yeah. yeah. Should we just pick them up with our fingers? We pick it up, or is it right. like, I'm going to take this really apple saucy one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks for the napkin, Jesse. Here. Oh, there's a napkin. Oop, there you go. Right on yeah, the wall. Yeah, it's good. It's so, I'm just, I'm just getting that hash brown mm, vodka quality. That's what I like too. But yeah, that applesauce, it's a, like you said, it's a savory and sweet to, kind of together. Mm -hmm. And even a little bit sour. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, you can notice it for sure. What it's do you good. think? What I love it. Think? I love it. You can talk. I love this. It's a great combination. Yeah. It really is. You should do this in catering. Thank you. I'll make sure oh, to do boy. this. Add it in. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take one more bite. Mm. It's very oniony in a good yeah. way. Onion is good. And you could always, you know, I tell everybody, you're cooking for yourself. So if you're not an onion person, do less. Oh no, it's great. Yeah. Well, uh, I think our show is done here. Thank you, Jesse. Fletcher for uh, being our chef for this episode. This is the first one that you've done. It is. And then yes. people should come see you at Kitchen's Cafe. Yes. Thank you. Please do. Uh, we're at the Paducah School of Art and Design, open Monday through Friday, 11 to 2. We have a fantastic menu that we have all the time. We're well known for our barbecue nachos, our grilled cheese and tomato yeah. soup. And then we do a different special each week, and it's themed around all, all types of stuff. Sometimes it's the season, sometimes it's the holiday, sometimes it's my whim. So we <laughs> might see German potato pancakes before too long. And yeah. then as well as lots of catering. So if you have a special event, need us to cater, give us mm -hmm. a call. And Kathy McKaney, I'll see you on campus later. Sure will. But I really appreciate you being a guest sure. down here. This has been like really like fun to do it, and it interesting. Was, did you have a good time? I did, yeah. 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 Great. And thanks to the applesauce and the stories that you were telling too. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's the end of the show. We'll be back for another episode, I'm sure. This has been Cooking at the College. Thank you.